Hey guys, here today to do a little bit of an update on my Razor Weld 160P High Frequency Start TIG Welder. I've had this machine for several months now and I've really got a chance to dig into the settings and find out how I like to run it and what I like about the machine. Now, I upgraded from a Thermalark 95S to this machine here. The Thermalark was a lift TIG style TIG and it didn't have that nice high frequency start. So now that I've got a chance to use this rig on quite a few different builds, I've really found what settings I'm most comfortable with. What I found is that I can crank up the amperage quite a bit further on this machine than I was originally using. That pulse welding really helps to keep the amount of heat out of it and keep it more concentrated to my weld while allowing me to use that higher amperage. Now in my very first video, I showed that you can use the roller on the handle here to adjust the amperage. However, it is the full range of amperage that the machine has. You don't dial in a high amperage on this and then run this as a uh, 0 to 100 percent. It's actually a 0 to 100 percent of the entire machine's range. Now I have found that to be something that I don't really use all that often. All that I'm using is the start button. So when I'm using and working on this fairly small uh, tube work per se, it's something that I can really kind of get in at an awkward angle and different things like that. Now, with that lift TIG before, I was having to actually touch it and then pull it away and try and keep everything at the right distance. The high frequency start of this unit makes things so much easier. However, I still sometimes like to hold the torch in maybe an awkward position, and at that time, it can be difficult to press that button. Now, this whole unit pulls out of the torch, very simple. Uh, it's got a simple little connection here and off that you can actually determine the pin out for how the Amphenol plug that plugs into the front of the machine is wired. Now what I decided to do with that pin out information from that torch head was come up with a simplified foot pedal style on off button. Since foot pedals are very common for TIG welding, uh, I decided that that would probably be an easy solution. Now I picked up a simple momentary push button style setup uh, from a local supplier here but you can also find them on Amazon.com and I'll try and find uh, a link or something like that and put it in the description of this in case uh, anyone wanted to try and do this themselves. And then all I did was I cut off the end that was supplied with this foot pedal and I got a replacement Amphenol style plug that is the same as the front of this machine. Now all this is, is I simply hooked up the two wires from the foot pedal to the number one and number two pin of the Amphenol plug. Now the pin numbers are actually molded into the plastic on the back side of the Amphenol plug if you're actually trying to find and locate which those are. They're the top two on the front of the machine if, uh, if you want to try and confirm that. Now once I did that, all this momentary switch does is complete a circuit. So it's a very simple style setup. Now, all I did was I disconnected the Amphenol plug from the torch lead and I simply connected this one. It's a two wire system only rather than the seven pin that this system normally runs. So that's all there was to my modification. I simply throw this thing down on the floor and now it becomes the uh, torch button to start it up super simple style solution and it also removes the need to have to take this machine out of remote mode if you don't want to use the torch potentiometer. Now it just defaults to the, uh, the non-remote mode basically. A very simple and uh, easy modification cost me altogether about 20 bucks. So now I'll show you just a simple demonstration. I'll throw the foot pedal down on the floor and uh, just show you that the now uh, finger-free style uh, operation of the torch head. Uh, now this torch button doesn't do anything. You can hit it all you want. The potentiometer is also disconnected now. So you could run a simple style torch lead now if that's what you wanted uh, to get some of the other options like the flexible heads or the shorter uh, cups and tungsten holders. But for now I'm just going to show you what I'm using with this as it was. <laughs> So that was really the update that I wanted to show. All in all, 
this machine, I couldn't be happier with the upgrade over the previous machine that I had. Granted, this wasn't a tight situation where it was hard to get to that button on that torch, but the addition of this little momentary foot pedal has made it just that much easier to use and made it that much more enjoyable. I really like getting the feel for this machine and the more I use it, the happier I am and the better that I'm becoming at getting nice clean welds. I'll take a close up picture of this one, show you guys what it looks like as, as I go, I'm feeling better and better about the strength and appearance of my welds in general. So you'll see this thing on videos down the line as far as every build I do as well as uh, maybe more updates specifically on it, long term reviews and things like that. All in all, couldn't be happier. Hopefully this was helpful to some of you guys and we'll see you guys in the next one.